things theology, all things theology. We chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta give doxology to God hollow because this is how we do it at all things theology. Recently, someone sent me this sermon of Mike Todd, and the sermon title is called, guys, this is not a joke. It is called King Dumb. King Dumb. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So I heard that, saw the title name, and I'm like, is this a sermon about himself? I don't get it. I listened to the sermon, and boy, this, is, this actually may be one of his most troubling sermons, and I know I say that all the time. I say that all the time because he actually outdoes, he outdoes my expectations every time. Every time I'm like, wow, it couldn't have got worse. And then I'm the next sermon. I'm like, oh my goodness, I shouldn't have said that because he's, it's like he's trying to outdo that. Let's just open up this right here. What I'm about to share with you, I honestly have never heard before. I am so full of this kingdom message. And I wanted to make sure that I was right in line with every. So first off, he's saying that the message he's never heard of is kingdom. I, I don't know how you've been sitting in a church for any length of time and never heard about the kingdom. It literally was Jesus first message. <laughs> I mean, if you're just going through the Gospels, you get there fairly quick. We're going to hear Mike Todd define the kingdom. Remember, Mike Todd also say prior to this week, he never heard anything about the kingdom. He said he didn't know what the kingdom was. He never heard a sermon. That's kind of problematic because Jesus talked a lot about the kingdom. And I, I'm i not going to say I find it hard to believe he never heard anything about the kingdom. But how could you not hear? How could you be a pastor and not know anything prior to this week about the kingdom of God? But let's listen to some of this. Because we have been ignorant. Of what's this? The only message Jesus preached on this earth. Now, I do agree with him that many people have been ignorant <laughs> about uh, the kingdom of God. Uh, but people have been people in the church have been ignorant about a lot of things. But I don't think Mike Todd's church actually prepares people to not be ignorant. It actually stultifies them. Right. Because what do they want to come see? They want to see the props. They want to see the games. They want to see all this rather than a sermon where exclusively the word of God. He says that Jesus only preached the kingdom of God. That seems a bit far. You One could say Jesus preached primarily the kingdom of God, but Jesus preached a lot of things. He says he's going to prove it, but he actually never proves his point. Jesus preached a lot of stuff. And I'm going to show you how Mike Todd actually does not understand what the kingdom of God is. Now, I might offend some some people's particular theologies, and that's that's fine, but I want you to hear me out with a biblical view in mind, right? Not an open view in mind, but a biblical view in mind, right? <laughs> I'm going to prove to you at the end of this service that Jesus talked about nothing else except the kingdom. Your favorite Bible scriptures from Jesus was an illustrated sermon about, guess what? The king. He would say stuff like, the kingdom of God is like. Now he goes on just, I didn't, I didn't put this in here, but he just goes on to show other texts where Jesus talked about the kingdom. That's actually not proof that that's the only thing he talked about. Yeah, Jesus talked a lot about the kingdom, but to say he only talked about the kingdom, that seemed to be a a stretch maybe to make your point of the sermon, but not actually true biblically. And he would go into a story and then he would say the kingdom of God is like he was trying to get it through our heads that the only gospel message you need to know to live a victorious life on this earth is the message we're missing. Even with that said, it shows what Mike Todd thinks about the kingdom. So the only gospel message we need to know to live a victorious life here on this earth. I'm going to show how. For Mike Todd, the kingdom is very physical. You know, it has to do with finances. It has to do with phys physical stuff, right? My position, if you can point to it in a material, physical way, it's not the kingdom. And my, unlike Mike Todd, I'm going to demonstrate that. We already know the importation of what he means, victorious means. A, a matter of fact, let me, let me show you. Let me play this so you can get a glimpse into what he means. You do not have this message or you would be victorious in every area of your life. So you don't have the kingdom 
Otherwise, you would be victorious in every single aspect of your life. So he means things like finances, career, et cetera, et cetera. The reason I know you don't know what the kingdom is, because I'm looking at you. Mm. Looking at your marriage. Looking at your prayer request. When you understand the power, the dominance, the authority that Jesus gives us in the kingdom, everything changes. Yeah, a lot of you are peeping up on the language, right? Let me introduce you to a biblical principle, which I've heard for some time that may be helpful when you're studying the Bible of the already not yet principle. And I believe this uh, applies specifically to the kingdom. In one sense, the kingdom is already here. But in another sense, the kingdom is future. What do I mean? I, I heard this principle about the king kingdom, which was very helpful. Whenever you want to know about the kingdom, look at the king. Is the king here? No, well, not physically. Well, then in as that aspect, the kingdom is future. But in another sense, the king is here, right? Spiritually, right? He resides in the Christians. So the so the principle of the kingdom is one that is already not yet, meaning the king is here presently spiritually, but then the king is future return bodily, physically, right? Let me let me just lay out what I'm talking about from scripture. Luke 17, 20 through 21, being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God will come. So notice they're asking, when is the kingdom of God going to come? Notice Jesus answered. No, notice, did he give the same answer Mike Todd gives? He answered them. The kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed, nor will they say, look, here it is or there. For behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. There is no place you can point to to say that's the kingdom of God. I know a lot of people like where there's a particular land, that's the kingdom of God. No place. There's no particular church, no particular area, physical location that can be described as the kingdom of God, according to Jesus' own statement. Everything Mike Todd describes about the kingdom of God it's all physical and contradicts what Jesus said in Luke 17, 20 through 21. And we're going to actually hear a, a more blatant statement that contradicts this later in the sermon. And so I hope that's helpful when we talk about the kingdom of God, because there are so many false teachers who want to have this dominion theology, which makes the kingdom of God physical. So many guys, you've seen them out there. Prosperity Gospels bank on this, that the kingdom of God is physical. So, Michael, you can't title that series kingdom. I was like, why? That's what you. So apparently this is his conversation with God. And, and that's a whole nother <laughs> conversation for another day. I guess just God speaking outside of his word, just telling Mike Todd. All sorts of craziness, right? So he's talking about why he named this sermon kingdom. Because my people are kingdom. The title of this series is Kingdom. We can't talk about the kingdom of God because we are king. We are ignorant of what the Bible says about the kingdom. I can put the mic in front of pastors and they have no idea what the kingdom of God is. I can put the mic in front of praise and worship leaders, in front of singers, in front of musicians, in front of theology major, and they have no clue about the only message Jesus taught about. Yeah, bro, you didn't know what it was till last week either. You know, you ever met someone who just learned something two minutes ago and they want to let everybody know how much they know it? This is Mike Todd. W one, he's wrong about the kingdom of God, but he thinks he knows what the kingdom of God is. So he's arrogant in it, right? Or let me use, he's just confident in, it, in his so-called knowledge. One, he was wrong about knowledge. He's wrong about the kingdom of God being physical, et cetera, et cetera. He, he, he actually has no knowledge of the kingdom. of This this sermon had so much error in it. But here he says God gave it to him. Remember, remember, we've already defined biblically how the kingdom of God cannot be observed by saying, look, it's over here, or over there. All right. <laughs> Watch what this guy does. All I want you to do in this message is see the kingdom. The reason you're attracted to Transformation Church is because you see the kingdom. You can't define it all. You don't know what it is. But it's like this. I don't know the braids and then the, the, the jacket and then the like the worship. I like that. You can't. I can't. Mike Todd, 
you are not the kingdom. You are not the kingdom. Well, they like the berets and, you know, the Jack Adams. You're, you're, you're not the kingdom. You've literally contradicted Luke 17 explicitly. And notice what they're attracted to. You. They're attracted to you. They're attracted to Mike Todd at the end of the day. Let me play that back. Let me play that back. I want you to do in this message is see the kingdom. The reason you're attracted to Transformation Church is because you see the kingdom. You can't define it all. You don't know what it is. But it's like this. I don't know. The braids and then the, the jacket and then the, like, the worship. I like that. You can't. Yes. What you are attracting them with is everything but Christ. Notice what they're liking. The braids. You. The uh, jacket. You. And then the worship. All your songs. Right. And, and I didn't know we did worship for the people. I thought worship was unto God. So everything is man centered about Transformation Church by his own admission. And notice who's liking it. Is it the people of God? No, these are people who who's tr he's trying to get here. It's like, it's OK if you don't understand the kingdom of God, you, but you're attracted to all these physical things, which Mike Todd, we've already established. That's not the Mike Todd. That's not the kingdom of God. He, he wanted to he wanted to uh, slap on people who didn't know what the kingdom of God is, but he, he himself doesn't know. It reminds me of uh, what, what, what Jude talks about, proud and boastful. He has no clue what he's talking about. I can't tell you how many people say, I don't do church. But I mess with you. They don't say. That's not a good thing, Mike Todd. Unbelievers being comfortable in your church without the conviction of God. It's not a good thing in our idea. And, and I talked about this recently, which got me in a lot of trouble on Twitter. Church is for the repentant. See, in our idea, if we can just get unbelievers to church and they can just start, start kind of liking our charismatic pastor who preaches so well, we thought we'd done evangelism. If we just get people to church and they, oh, I mess with you, doc. All right, Unc. I mess with you, dog. That has nothing to, you know what? If an unbeliever told me that, but man, I got to change something. No, I'm preaching on hell next week. <laughs> Who cares if they like your church? I thought it was about the kingdom of God. See, in his idea, that is the kingdom of God. They don't say mess. But... <laughs> and y'all so church, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Using that four letter demon, that's where they at. Let them see it. Let them talk, let them do it. Let, they not ready to wear it yet. They're not ready to change clothes yet, but at least they saw somebody, oh my God, that looks like Jesus, that talks like Jesus, that loves like Jesus. They not ready to change clothes yet. And he's, I guess, going from unconverted to Christian, but let them see it. He's saying, let them see the kingdom. Isn't that the very thing the, the Pharisees were asking about the physical? And Jesus says, it's not here. It's not there. You can't point to it. My guy, Mike Todd, you are contradicted in the Bible. And then let them see somebody love like Jesus, sir. Look like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, someone said Jesus had braids to the back in a tracksuit. Right. You guys know my goal here at All Things Theology is constantly get you guys to think about it, to think about it in light of what scripture says. So hope you guys enjoy the video till the next time, y'all. Everybody, everybody.